Cratonus and the Pit, the Half Man. Look here, look what's here. Hey, boys, come and see what's here. Come on, quick, all of you. It's a skull, right? It's Bastin. Reckon he's been murdered or something? No, he's all you know, fossilized, like stone. Must come up with me last lot. Must have been down there a long time, maybe hundreds of years. Hundreds? What are we going to do with it? Here, here's a gaffer. What's going on? What's the stoppage? We found a skull. Careful, it's real old, isn't it? Looks, looks it. Reckon we ought to report it to a museum or something? That's right. Like them Roman remains. I don't know. We're in trouble if the works hold up. This could mean something good for all of us. That's right. Let's get on with it. Jack, you stay here and see that nobody messes it up about. What do you make of it? I don't know. Don't know this. I don't like this place. Haven't done from the start. Ah, there's another bit. Oh, odd idea. This call, this calling press conference. What's all about it? I'm, I'm run from one to the other. You're, you're the popular press, even Gazette. And you, the paleontologist, pa, not heard of it. It's a foremost scientific journal. And then you're going to interview his paleontologist. Ah, this is Rooney. He's a Canadian, isn't he? Possibly. He used to be on TV a lot, in that program. He's a foremost figure in this field. Gentlemen, will you be seated, please? May I introduce Dr. Matthew Rooney? Thank you. Gentlemen and ladies, too. I would like to see you. The idea of calling this preference was an entirely met with official approval, has it? Oh, really, Dr. Winnie, to be blunt, I'm cutting on your help. And for you, that of the public, now in charge in the psychological dig, I was laying in Knightsbridge. Been in there a week now. I'm worried. We need time to do our work properly. I'm afraid we're not going to get, going to get it. The only is a site. Once to go, go on, on the building, they're pressing us to get out. That was confidential. Oh, all oh, right. Please keep it off the record. They're trying to kick us out. And if they do, they may wreck one of the most remarkable finds ever made. Now, I've made statements that, that these fossils were important. Important. I'll go further than that. I believe they have a paralyzed importance. They may teach us more about our remote ancestors, ancestors than we've ever known. I believe they are vast age. I believe they show that creatures essentially resemble mankind walked upon the earth between three and five million years ago. So the Winnie, isn't that far, that far further back than we were supposed? Several times as far. Up to now, the figure's been put at half a million years. Can you prove it, sir? No. Not at all. I, I've got every scrap of evidence, a, a, a reservation to make full tests. I'm giving you my personal conviction based on that, what I found. What have you found? Parts of two skulls, fragments of upper and lower limbs. Can you tell us what they look like? Not at this stage. Yes, I think I can. It's just another guess, of course. Miss Jude's. Here we are. Over here. Gentlemen, this is my chief assistant, Barbara Jude. She's attempting reconstruction. And here, now these model portions are what we found so far. That is, it is, if they fell out with flesh. He wasn't very tall. He has a, had the face of an ape, but he, but he had a big brain. He stood like a man. I must say, Rowling. Rowling. I'm glad you're not in your shoes. You know a lot of people may think it's a trifle improper to publicise wild guesses, particularly if you turn out to be bad guesses. You're ready, sir? Thank you. What a poor we. The press boy certainly gave you the treatment. I know what they like. No, they didn't. They know what they like. No, they didn't. Didn't I say it was all, all, all on free will? I protest you. I wanted the man in the street on my side. Look, if I come, catch his imagination. The block of offices slacked on that site. Bones and all. Your health, Armitage. You know, you really... Ah, you really the reason I came to the club today. Oh. I, 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 so I'm being... Being bearded, huh? 
That's it. Your excellent journals have well, shown much interest so far. Weekly magazines work a work week, good week ahead. Then that's when I may need your support most. It's about a month. I'll give you photographers special facilities. Another large brandy, really, I must go now. I really have to go. I never interfere with my editors. But I'll get them to bring you. Bye now. Goodbye. Good luck. Here you are, sir. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Quinny Mets Rooney. How are you? Well, fit enough. Tired, huh? Harassed by publicity. Harassed by getting and um, not getting enough, you know. Till a week ago, I was a trying sort of creature. Now I'm like a press agent. Sometimes you have to get, get, don't have to get public support. I have to now. Oh, I said it far too much too soon. If I'm wrong, you feel wrong, it doesn't matter. Will it? No. I just retire. It stick me out right, stick me right alongside the pit. Down for dream, a horrid, a horrid warning. Welcome, Miss. Been years now. Are you still buried out in your rocket research place? Mm. Shall we lunch? I doubt we got time. Arthur oh, could we have a plain few plain sandwiches? Yes, Professor. I almost forgot you were a member here. We're just up to, for a conference in the war office. War office? For you strictly well with civilian outfit. Well, we were. Good heavens. They're taking you over. Well, if you say so. I'm infringing the official eight secret site. But it seems we have a lot to move at the times. I say, call them us. Great a mess. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Arthur. Oh, cheese. Have one. Tell me. How much time do you need for this, for this exhibition? Of yours, it depends what we find. You can't rush these things. Some of these fossils, fragments, so fragile. Come and see for yourself. I wish it good. When your conference finishes, I doubt it'd be. I no doubt. I doubt if it'd be very good company. Are you a taxi? Lift him my taxi. Freddy Quatermass, you do you know, Rooney, for all of your troubles, you've got one thing to be thankful for. There is no military value to, in fossil tapes. Now we're going to watch the digging party. What do you think about the missing link? Missing link? I don't know. Is it a right? If they want, want it. And you do, what do you think? I like it. You like it? A missing link? Yeah. And you, madam? Do you think he's right that the building work should be held up on this site until you get the monkey bones up? Yes, I do. You ought to be late. Thank you. And then of you, sir, what's your opinion? Well, I think I just caught the sight of someone whose opinion is worth for more, uh, worth for something. Dr. Michael Rooney, Matthew Rooney, who is a scientist in charge here. Dr. Rooney, will you grant me an interview? Just a moment. Thanks for the lift. Works like I asked for it. Now, what are your latest developments? With the brink of study and discovery, Whitehall the first office, war office. Hello, hello. Well, Professor Quatermass, we enter the last round. Isn't that what you wanted to say? Nothing so pretentious as that. What can you, it, well, it can be soon be over. You can enjoy a rest. We all can. Will you take your seats, gentlemen? A minister won't be a moment. Final session. I'm sure you feel as I do. It won't take as long to agree to our conclusions. I've asked Harrison to prepare a rough draft, but surely, sir, we have to be, that we come to no agreement so far. But I should, I should thought we had a very substantial measure about the rocket group. His finances, administration, not but not not policy. We're not here to formulate policy. That's for higher level. We must express our views. We are men, not mechanical computers. First and plain mass, isn't your concern duly personal? I think we all realize how much is owed to your formative influence. I brought the rocket group into being, but it is a government project. It always has been. It's intended for, for peaceful research, scientific research, not be averted to fulfill such a monstrous concept as, the, as this, well, is dead man's deterrent. I thought I made it clear from the outset. Decisions have been taken. We are merely to find a means of carrying it out. I must say I agree with Macrindamus. Commission that founded the rocket group 
This is a change of policy since there is what, some confusion. I asked for a regular green to restate it. I had to mean for information only. Briefly, please. And finally, a setting of permanent bases on the moon and possibility Mars also is certainly within the life of seven years. The bases will be military ones. The present state of world politics leaves no doubt about it. So there is a race on, a usual there is a race on. Whether the plants these bases can be placed on Earth, whether sick missiles can be stored there, slave missiles designed to react automatically to um, well, out to empty on Earth. Even if an aggressive nation should totally wipe out a neighbor in a nuclear attack, it would find itself belligerated by missiles from space. It's a concept of dead man's deterrent. Do you really believe that missiles could be, uh, could be so accurate they could locate the Earth? They destroy everything on us. We should not have been, we should not have been the aggressors. But no, you send, you do, but you send all humanity up in smoke uh, to avenge ourselves. It take a greater accuracy in those metals. Will be a concert of, a, a, a concert object. Of course, sir, the absolute ultimate weapon, a sword of the will hang over the head of any aggressor ready to fall. You might call it Operation Difficulties. Yes, yes, good idea. Stop this ultimate weapon. Can you really pretend to believe in such a thing? There has never has been and never will be. This is all, all this means is that the very start of going to space with one fault. War. We're on the verge of a new dimension of discovery. A great chance to leave out our vices behind us. War, first of all. Not to... Not to go out there dragging our hatreds and frontiers of us. Gentlemen, we must not lightly agree to this plan. We have a right to express our, express our opinions, to advise against it. I implore you, I am a little surprised that it's all. It's served to hear such naive, naive views still put forward. Naive? They compel me to ask you to have a conscious objection to remaining in the head, as the head of a rocket group. Do you want me to resign? Why, I shan't. I shall stay into the control as long as I can, using that influence I can to try to vent, of course. I will be glad for your cooperation. You are too such time as, uh, meanwhile, a new deputy controller under you will join the rocket group. Colonel Brim. Colonel Brim? You know? I told him this morning he'd been seconded for my army duties. I see. I think you agree on his fitness for the post. A rival experience with military rockets, ballistic missiles. A comment for the present one. Now, let's consider it this draft. In Vienna, the conference on the nuclear depart- disarmament remains locked. The future to agree, the failure to agree to an agenda, terrorist activity in Nigeria, be responsible for 87 deaths during the past month. Please report that Birmingham is peaceful last night after almost a week of radical disur- racial disturbances. More fossil bones have been found today at Kingsbridge. Dr. Matthew Rooney has confirmed that they too belong to species. He describes it as known true humanid. That is the end of this newsflash. That is a dying, dying nicely. That is a shoulder blade. Looks better than the others. Bigger anyway. Got it? You know, I think that these are well, from four bodies, four? At least. Why are you coming on, Barbara? Look out for sacred vet, vet, Structed vertebrae. Miss Dobson, are you all right? It's just my head. Oh, it's it's so close down there. Clammy, rather. Didn't you notice it? No. Perhaps you ought to call it a day. Nonsense. Just a touch of a migraine. Oh, it's gone now. Oh, look at them all gurping up there. Making an exhibition myself. Miss Judd, Miss Judd, I think I've got something. Puzzle white right scapula. Part of a chemical also may be present. Go careful. Get that to the museum right away. Yes, sir. Have a fine, Dr. Rooney. Something good. Ah, come and see, Dr. Rooney. I'm afraid it's only a pipe. A pipe, yes. What I think. Maybe a t- trunk, sir. Well, good thing. I wasn't, it wasn't, I, 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 
I was using a pickaxe. They had a, they had a good laugh. Now they think we found something. Smooth, give me a trout, please. Very smooth. It curved downwards. I don't think it's a pipe. What do you suggest? It was probably a bomb. What goodness? Yes, yes. It looks like one. Why did you say that? We can't afford to lose any time. It ought to be reported, Dr. Rooney. Very well. Barbara, go in touch the world who it be the police, I think so. It could be we could go on working on the other side. Hello, is that the police? I want to report what may be an exploded bomb. Captain Potter, Inspector, we've been inspecting you. Where is this thing? Down here. Just down here. Unload the gear. So very good, sir. Is somebody still? Is somebody still living in that house? I don't know, sir. Come on. I see it. I'll see to it. Right. Hold on. Now. Hold it a minute. What type do you think it is, sir? Well, it could be a Satan. Well, it could be, sir. Set. Set what? i never seen a Satan with bumps, huh? Ah, oh, there's no ticking. A gold thing might, odd thing that, that might doesn't, won't stick. Well, it's, it can't be steel. Where do you think, it, where do you think, who do, what do you think it is then? Sir, I don't know. I thought it fell during the war. The surface ought to be corroded. The corrosion, all the jelly stuff have been, it seems pretty well, don't know, don't think there's any kind of metal. Captain Potter? Potter? How long is this going to take, sir? I advise you to leave. I'm in charge, not now. Blame on current spring, Captain Sergeant. Very good, sir. You understand my work? I read the papers. I have to complete, I had to complete it quickly. This wreck is all to my arrangements. If you blow it up, a wreck more than your arrangements, you might really think, think it might. Our job is to prevent it. These might take this might that back to days. How long you we got do we go on for Sarge? Until we tell you to stop. Think he says I think he's till he says stop stop. Hey Wissy, how much do you know about this jerry plane? They're all Yanks in the war. We did we we mean we're still making their own. Wasn't any cloud they carried a thing that was big? It's bigger than a ten ton, sir. Why, it's not a buzz bomb. Dr. Dooney, Rooney, Booney, in your digging, did you say, have any sign of a hole? It might have made it when it came down. No. Most of the work was done under my, my grabs. You could ask the building contractors. Five minutes break, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Five minutes break, boys. You call them over. Call them, you call them now. That's not my business, sir. Captain Potter, you're a young man. You haven't, you couldn't have been in the war, had, could have had a wartime experience. Should c- call his second opinion. If you don't know what it is, then find the funny out deliberate. I annoyed him, and how he's going to make work, make work to rule. I saw that. They're making tea. You probably run that hut into the office mess. But I'll let you stay there as long as you can. They can let you and keep an eye on things. Yes, but what are you going to get a second opinion? I think the conclusion of business for the present gentleman. Thank you for your help. You'll be received draft reports, of course, in the next two days. Brain, congratulations on appointment. Thank you, General. About time we were so we were colleagues. I'm sure we all should get on rather well together. When did you start? Oh, so I do, as, oh, now I understand. You haven't, no, I haven't got an appointment. I can't admit you that permission. No permit of further, sir. Professor Codemets, there's a gentleman here to see you, won't you? For these petty bureaucrats, Codemets, I'll catch you. What's happened? A bomb turned up on the site. The soldiers are here now. What can I do? You, you can hurry them up. You know these people. Look where we are, dear Rooney. If I had any influence of the army, wait a second. Bren, sir. Yes, Bren. This is Dr. Matthew Rooney. You heard of his previous target finds of Kingsbridge? Oh, yes. Well, who are you, Rooney's? Being a, having a little difficulty with a base bomb disposal squad. Would you, could you help interfere? Yeah, they need, they need expert advice. Who says so? It's a fact. I have no official request. It would be a high, very, highly irregular. Suppose you didn't have a request from me, 
for you? It's a friendly one. I've all your colleagues now. I come with you. I can't promise you any more. Good man. I'm sure we get over the, uh, get on very well together. Miss Sonnet, you can't, don't come in here until you're finished. Just to get some more clothes. Please, when it feels cold. I don't like, I don't, well, take a moment, I don't know. There's nothing going on down there. Just now. All right then, quick as you can. Having to beg to get, get me to my home. Home builders have been trying to get rid of me for months. Why, well, look out. You know, you know me, officer. Why are you, where are the others? We're here to have a look at that bomb. Charlie, the old codgers have got some, got out and stir them out. Stir that one, uh, yes. Had, uh, had any luck? It's my chief assistant, Miss Jude. Professor Quidemus, how do you do? I'm in charge here, sir. Can I help you? This is a question I was asked. Going to ask. It says Code Brandon, Golden, Golden Admission Control. And quoted to Professor Godemass. What have you got there? I don't know quite, don't know yet, sir. Are you informed your superiors? Not yet. Quite, sir. What do you, mind if you take a look, we take a look. Golden plate, jet. Bomb for five, break for five minutes of bomb. A sign of ingress cavity, sir. I checked the firm who did it, it's excavating. Hole. You could have collapsed, closed up, mm, a famous excavation. Yes. You're probably standing on a priceless fuel for fossils at the moment. Mm. About here, they dug out the first skull. Oh, a trifle muddy. Blast, thanks. Something he said, Rooney. Really? Where did you say the skull was found? Where exactly? Well, in, well, in the earth. Been dug away. Two or three feet about of this level. That's right, yes. It was here. You said above. Why, that's wrong. Well, if it was above this thing, Rooney, tell me again. How did you estimate this skull? How long did you estimate this skull had been here? Something like five million years. Five million years? <laughs>